XP, which is very important topic, اللي هو discrete Fourier transform. أنت مودي أخذت the Fourier transform في في تل في تلات مية وأربعين هاي تلات مية وأربعين signal systems. بس أخذته في the continuous case. So you took the continuous time Fourier transform. Okay, the heel formulas, uh, these are the formulas. So this is the forward continuous time Fourier transform. We have the inverse. It's an integral because it is continuous. So we integrate from minus infinity to plus infinity. So X, uh, the signal XC of T, the continuous signal, it is a weighted sum of complex exponentials. The Euler formula the sinusoids. Remember some Fourier transform properties that we had before. And no, time convolution frequency domain is frequency domain multiplication. And when we do interconvolution for time domain, the alarm to convolution, it becomes multiplication in the frequency domain. The multiplication of the uh, frequency of the Fourier transform of X multiplied by the Fourier transform of Y. And uh, it's the opposite also is true. Frequency convolution is the uh, equ equivalent to time uh, domain multiplication. So if you multiply two signals, then it becomes convolution of their Fourier transform. Modulation, which is a frequency shift, so if you take a signal and you multiply it by a sinusoid, a Euler, Euler formula of a sinusoid, then uh, with a shift, uh, the angle omega zero, then it becomes a shift in the frequency domain. And here you multiply by a sinusoid, and you see a shift by the angle of the sinusoid. Omega zero, so it becomes a shift. So modulation in time domain has some modulation when you multiply with a sinusoid. It's the uh, same as a frequency shift in the frequency domain, and yani the frequencies get shifted. Okay, so that's a summary. So um, how, does, how do we then, uh, what is the frequency domain representation of sampling? Yani digital form, and yani it's when we sample it. So this is the difference in the score. Digital. What happens when So sampling means actually modulating or multiplying, modulation and multiplying, much by a sinusoid, but multiplying with a what is called an impulse, set of impulses, impulse tree. That's not impulse, the impulse here, the here had an amount impulse. So to sample means that you take the signal, you multiply with an impulse train, bunch of impulses, so multiplication, right? That's what is sampling. So, and mathematically, you have a signal, continuous signal X, T, multiplied with the impulse train S. Okay, so that's the sum from minus infinity to infinity X of T, the multiple by delta, shifted values of delta. So an impulse train who is shifted, impulses shifted, impulses delta. So when you, uh, this is in time domain modulation. In frequency domain, it becomes convolution between the frequency response or the Fourier transform of X, continuous signal, and then Fourier transform, convolved with the Fourier transform of the impulse. Well, Fourier transform of the impulses who are بما أنك أنا عندك shift of delta, then it becomes also impulses in the frequency domain. Fully transform حقيقة. Okay, so let's take uh, the fully transform of X of S, the here result and S of T. 
So the Fourier transform of uh, X of S, uh, continuous adding, modulated signal adding, is, if you apply the, the Fourier transform in the continuous, continuous Fourier transform, one over T, the sum from K minus infinity to infinity, X of C, which is the, the Fourier transform tal X faqat, Fourier transform tal X faqat, J, multiplied by omega minus k omega s here omega s here marbuta bit period t here one over t okay had the mathematics and you should have yeah you can do it with the alam to have held that more brain but mafi die and go through it here and muhum what is really important here to notice and if you look at this for a transform what do we note? We note that the Fourier transform of a pulse train, then we have the Fourier transform hagget X of S. X of S, this is how we say it. It's a pulse train. And it's a pulse train. pulses. Sampled. It's a sampled version of the signal. We do the Fourier transform hagget this. So the Fourier transform hagget this, this is the equation hagget. If you look at it, it's also a pulse train. And you know, here it is a set of pulses. And no, integral. It's a sum. So k, you know, it's k is discrete. Zero, one, two, minus one. It's discrete. So um, معناته برضو the Fourier transform is a pulse train. So the x of s is a pulse train of pulses. Then the Fourier transform is a strain of pulses. Note that multiplication in time is convolution in frequency, and we represent the frequency with uh, omega, which is 2 pi times the frequency. Hence, of course, uh, omega s is 2 pi times the sampling frequency, fs, sampling frequency. So, what, can, what else can we say? The convolution with pulses created replicas at pulse locations. So, لاحظ هنا أنه في عنا it's periodic النتيجة هذه periodic it's periodic it's replicated at omega s يعني كل omega s it's this repeats it's the same sum okay so graphically graphically معناته هذا x of s شكله كده يعني شو إذا كان هذا الفريكونسي أو الفري ترانسفورم الفري ترانسفورم حقت السامبل يعني إذا كان المحتوى الفريكونسي هو شكله كده يعني this is just general representation it could be we could draw it in any way المهم يعني it's there is some frequency somewhere here طبعا أغلبية الفريكونسي حتكون حول الزيرو بعدين تنزل تنزل فممكن تصورها curved ولا تصورها بيل ولا دبل بس المهم هنا بس تصوير تصوير سهل عشان نوضح الفكرة فطبعا وهذا الماكسيموم فريكونسي بتمشي للأوميجا ان ماينس أوميجا ان so what's happening in here in this formula انه it's from this formula you can see that it's periodic انه هي هذه تتعاد وين الإعادة تصير كل أوميجا اس شوف كل أوميجا اس نفس الشكل ينعاد من الفورمولا وهذه نتيجة مهمة جدا يعني هذه نتيجة مهمة جدا and uh, if you convolve with a pulse, with a set, uh, with a pulse, you create basically replicas at pulse locations. So when we do sampling, the result of sampling is this. And the proof is mathematical, you can go through it. But if you want to go through it, like, there's no need to go through it here. But the result is, when you do sampling, as soon as you multiply with the samples, you do sampling like this, which is here. The Fourier transform, the equation هذه, تصير periodic. شوف صارت periodic. تعيد نفسها. هذه نتيجة sampling. So this tells us that the impulse train modulator creates images of the Fourier transform of the input signal. So هذا Fourier transform of the input signal. With sampling, يخليه ينعاد every omega s. يعيد نفسه. طبعا إذا كان the distance ما بين omega s يعني إذا كان الأوميجا صغيرة 
اللي كان اقل من دبل اوميجا ان ايش يصير يصير هنا تداخل اللي هو الاي دي سي اللي نحكي عنه كنا نحكي عنه سو ذاتس واي الاوميجا اس لازم يكون كبير لازم يكون اكبر من دبل اوميجا ان عشان تبعد هذا عن بعض اذا كان اصغر يتداخلون في بعض اذا تداخلوا في بعض هذا يصير اي دي سي اذا كان اصغر من دبل او ان اوميجا ان Images are periodic with a sampling frequency. If omega s less than omega n sampling, maybe uh, then sampling may be irreversible due to the aliasing of images. يعني يصير تداخل فبالتالي ما تقدر ترجع السيجنال الأصلية بسهولة أو يصير فيها يعني أخطاء aliasing. So in summary, um, if you have a discrete, if you have an aperiodic signal, يعني أي سيجنال عادية. بالضرورة periodic, a periodic, and it is discrete in time, then uh, the discrete time Fourier transform gives us a continuous time signal in the frequency domain, it's periodic in frequency. And as soon as we sample, we teach the sampling and it's periodic. Now we can also sample the frequency domain, you know, again, for computers we cannot deal with continuous. لازم نحولها إلى ديجيتال. If we sample the frequency also con the domain نفسه, we get discrete time and then discrete signals are from discrete samples. It is periodic. Then basically that's the uh, that's, that's the frequency or the, the Fourier transform of a periodic signal. يعني لازم ايضا يعني نفس الشيء السامبلنج في الفريكونسي دومين حيخلي السيجنال ان ذا تايم دومين بيريودك يعني هنا كانت اي بيريودك سوينا لها سامبلنج خلت الفريكونسي حقتها دومين بيريودك نفس الشيء اف يو سامبل ذا فريكونسي ناو دومين ذن ذا سيجنال ان ذا تايم دومين ويل بي بيريودك من اللي كانت اي بيريودك اتس جونا بي بيريودك و DFT اللي هو completely discrete يعني discrete من جهتين discrete time و discrete frequency is periodic في time domain و periodic في frequency domain it goes from it has n samples here and it has n samples here وال n samples هذا يعيدوا نفسهم they repeat therefore we define the discrete Fourier transform اللي هو DFT as being a computable transform that approximates The DFT, DTFT. يعني لأنه إحنا we cannot deal with continuous case for the Fourier transform for the frequency domain, but we have to sample it. We have make it computable. يعني إنه تشتغل على الكمبيوتر. To make it computer, لازم نخليها samples, digit, discrete. ما نقدر نشتغل على continuous case. But when we discretize it, when we sample it in the frequency domain, we are basically approximating the DTFT, discrete time Fourier transform. And that is called the discrete Fourier transform. Just to give you an intuition in graphical form, so if you have a signal and you discretize it, then we have seen mathematically and know basically when you do the Fourier transform, you will see that the Fourier transform will be um, repeated, It'll be periodic. It will be repeated every uh, omega s, the whole frequency. Sampling frequency. طبعا هنا we can also instead of writing لأنه نعرف إنه أوميجا نعرف إنه أوميجا في الخط is equal to Two pi f. So Okay, so we, we you know, since it repeats every omega s, we can also use two pi as the axis. Instead of using uh, the frequency as an axis, we can use the radians 
as an axis. Okay, so when you sample, it becomes periodic. If you sample the frequency domain, نفسه, تأخذ منه samples, then the signal, كأنك السignal هذه, سويتها periodic. معناه كأنك now, the, 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 the frequency هذا, fully transform هذا, who discretized, uh, we've shown mathematically and we the origin if we do a reconstruction if we do the inverse for a transform think and no signal in the time domain becomes periodic signal in the time domain becomes periodic it repeats every n samples and when I cut n samples in I've been zero two pi I cut n samples you sampled it n times but it becomes if you do inverse for a transform the original signal becomes repeated every n samples Periodic, it becomes periodic. Uh, in practice, and if we, we can do, we have to take end points. So end points, we take them. We can take the end points from here to here, or from here to here. We have to choose. So in practice, people what they do is they take the samples from zero to n. And they take the samples, they choose the series range from zero to n. So of course, that means that it makes the, if you look at the uh, um, frequency uh, content, it's uh, completely symmetrical. Yeah, if it's some symmetry, maybe in zero to pi. But we don't need we can also take only up to here. And we have a unique frequency content. Okay, so um, this is basically how, in practice, the DFT works. You have n samples. You apply the DFT. You get n samples in the frequency domain. So I added the samples for time domain. Nafso added samples in the frequency domain. If you apply the discrete Fourier transform, well, there is the inverse also discrete Fourier transform. If you have the n samples in the frequency domain, you apply the inverse discrete uh, Fourier transform. You get the n samples. In the time domain, and these are periodic. These are periodic. So the, these endpoints, we were assuming they they repeat, and they repeat continuously, whatever. So recall that something in the time domain, uh, in a periodic, uh, results in a periodic repetition in the frequency domain. Should have an equation handy. If you have a sampled signal, when you apply it, you'll see that it's periodic. and uh, with the period two pi over t. Similarly, sampling in the frequency domain results in a periodic repetition in time. So, if you have the x omega had so it sampling, so you will find that it is, it creates a periodic signal. It creates a periodic signal. And to, uh, the original signal, the heat can't continuous, He can continue. We cannot do the Fourier transform of the whole signal. Well, طبعا غير منطقي. Then I say we minus infinity to infinity because the computer is limited. So I'm only able to I'm only able to at the end of the day in the computer. work with a limited range. So inside the computer, I'm gonna work with, I have to choose limited range, some range. Okay, I have to sample that. Again, I cannot also take continuous values. So I have to take then some range, I have to sample that, some range from zero to N minus one. And then I can apply that, apply to that, the Fourier transform. And what I will do, what I will get is I will get also a, a range in the frequency domain. Basically, what I'm what I've done is and no remit could the signals so samples are them. Can I remit them? Remit them. They are them. I don't. I cannot keep them. I know they go for infinity. So the, I'm assuming and this signal is only limited to this range. Manato, I'm assuming. Basically, when I do the for the DFT. I'm assuming that these samples, they repeat forever. 
they're periodic, it repeats forever. Nafs al when I get the frequency, it's periodic, it repeats on both sides forever. Therefore, uh, when you have a, a signal, a discrete signal, and you apply the Fourier transform, you get its Fourier transform. If it is uh, sampled, if it is discrete, then you get a periodic signal. Implications, the samples of the freq frequency uh, content or this uh, Fourier transform, the samples, XK, can be used to reconstruct, to reconstruct the original signal, but it is periodic. A limited, I cannot reconstruct the whole signal infinite from minus infinity to infinity. I can only reconstruct a periodic version that has n samples. فقط. If I sample the frequency response, uh, the frequency had a Fourier transform, I get a reconstructed periodic signal. I only get a limited part of the original signal. I only get n samples, and they, these are periodic. They repeat. So that's the conclusion. In summary, we have three types of the Fourier transform, and then a continuous time Fourier transform, the whole goes to from minus infinity to infinity, both T is continuous, so omega is continuous, and the discrete, discrete time Fourier transform, and the whole, it's going for time domain discrete, like in the frequency domain, continuous, omega and continuous. Like what happens, it's periodic, continuous or periodically, and also in a sampling. It becomes periodic. We end in a discrete Fourier transform, completely discrete Fourier transform, and this time domain discrete, or frequency domain discrete. So the discrete uh, Fourier transform pair, these equations are very, very, very important. And you have them in equations that hint, of course, how the lazim, for the math. So everything is discrete here. And them samples from zero to n minus one and the n samples. Lahadhana the exponential had a sinusoidal exponential. Bardo is discrete. So J uh, imaginary number two pi <coughs> K N over the total number of samples. So n is the range here of the sum. n is the total number of samples. k, who are the frequency sample, the frequency uh, index, the frequency index. So k here, the highest Fourier transform index. So, طبعا هذا معناته في كل for every k I have to do this sum. For every k I have to do this sum. So there is a lot of computation. So the discipline Fourier transform. Well, inverse, so the inverse, of course, I'm going to compute the signal, x of n, the periodic, then the n goes from 0 to n minus 1, and the n samples. And of I will have to put the frequency indices, or the frequency coefficients. It looks exactly the same, except it's a sign. Signs are positive. We see another difference, and here I have to divide by n to normalize the result. I have to divide by n. That's another difference. Again, there is a mathematical reason behind it, but there's no need to go through it. So, uh, the discrete Fourier transform basically changes an n-point input signal, n points, 0 to n minus 1, into 2 n over 2 plus 1 points output signal. So, and the real part or imaginary part. Until you apply this, remember, the e rahi fi ha real part or imaginary part. J had the imaginary, it's fi ha multiply cosine plus J sine. فالضرب في الكوسين يعطيك الريل بارت اللي هم نصف النقاط وفي عندك نصفهم imaginary right. so you start with n points half of them are real uh, 
points وهذا ذا مال imaginary points so مجموعة من اثنين يطلع n points the term frequency domain is used to describe the the amplitude of the sine and cosine waves يعني المagnitude المagnitude يعني لما نسوي المagnitude وفي عندك الفيز تحسب المagnitude والفيز the frequency domain usually يقصدون به المagnitude the frequency domain contains exactly the same information as the time domain just in a different form in the frequency domain فهم لأنه عندك اللي you can do forward forward DFT ومن the frequency domain can get back to the time domain inverse using the inverse DFT فبالتالي هي نفس المعلومات بس أنت حسب يعني مرة محطوطة في time domain ومرة محطوطة في the frequency domain هي نفس المعلومة example one the DFT converts the time domain uh, signal XMV into frequency domain, real part, imaginary part. So imagine, yani have an example. This is a, just a discrete signal, X of N. Fiha mu, fiha min sifr ila mu sabaw shirin nukta. Yani total mu thamiy shirin fiha nukta. So the time domain signal is uh, uh, contained in the array from X zero to X one twenty seven, mu thamiy shirin nukta of sample. The frequency domain signals are contained in two arrays and the real part array will uh, will imaginary part array. كل واحد فيه 64 نقطة أو 65 نقطة من صفر ل 64 كل واحد فيه 65 نقطة. النقطة الصفر مشتركة. النقطة الصفر مشتركة. Now the frequency axis can be referred to uh, in a four ways. It can be labeled as from 0 to 64, corresponding to the samples in the array. It could be a fraction of the sampling rate, 0 and 0 0.5, between DC and one half of the sampling rate. يعني نحط 0 0.5 على أساس أنه هي نصف sampling rate, لأنه إحنا إيش قلنا قلنا أنه هي it repeats every sampling rate, f of s, every f of s. فإذا كل واحدة منهم هذه نصف السامبلينج ريت 0.5 ف we can say it is it goes from 0 to 0.5 وهنا طبعا الأكسس يصير ال frequency it's a fraction of the sampling rate it's a fraction of the sampling rate هنا it's just a sample number so the x axis you can do it in many ways the third style is similar to the second except the horizontal axis is multiplied by 2 pi فنخليها تمشي من 0 ل pi فنكتب نحطها in radians بدل ما نحطها in number ولا in, in fraction of the sampling rate نحطها in radians فنقول هذه تمشي من صفر ل pi لان احنا عارفين هذا it repeats in the frequency domain every 2 pi if we consider it in radians so we can write this as 0 to pi zero, وهنا نمشي 0 to pi the fourth method is to label the horizontal axis in terms of the analog frequencies and in particular uh, in, a, in a particular application so another one is uh, using the analog frequency, which and it the frequency with hertz, right in hertz. It has the sampling frequency, but only the sampling frequency should have two hertz. For one hertz, another one one hertz. So there's many ways they plot uh, the frequency uh, axis. In the time domain, then it's just uh, you have the sample numbers. How to put in terms of time? If you have a period, all sample. It's a fraction of a second. You can put it in terms of seconds. Here's an example, another example using a simple sinusoid. Another and sinusoid signal. Uh, this is basically 1,000 hertz sinusoid, one kilohertz, and uh, we sampled it with 32 samples at 8,000 hertz sampling rate. Yeah, 8,000 hertz. Yeah, we had 8,000 samples per second. 8,000 samples every second. Okay, so here signal, it repeats 1,000 times every second. 1000 times يعني اذا السايكل حقتها او البيريد ح 
Akunesh, 1 over 1000 seconds. Yani uh, 0 0.001 seconds. The cycle, man, huh? All right. Now they want uh, 0 0.001. He, he wants us to, and uh, we want to take 8,000 samples per second. Okay, so cool second. We're going to take 8,000 samples. Eight thousand samples. All right, good. If you call second. Okay. If you one side, one period, اللي هو اللي هو فقط zero point zero zero one second. كم samples هنأخذ هنا؟ كيف نحسبها؟ إذا أنا بأخذ eight thousand في كل second. إذا في الجزء الصغير اللي هو cycle هذا. كم sample? How many samples? Okay, and for one second, I have 8,000 samples. And then for 0 0.001 seconds, come half of many? Many, how do you do that? You can do this, you can do this, right? صحيح اللي هي 8 samples okay yes so in this part 8 samples معقول جدا it makes a lot of sense اللي هي 0.001 seconds فإذا ضربنا ال 8 هذه samples إذا عشان نكمل السكند كاملة لازم نضربها في ألف لأنه لأنه كل سكند فيها ألف من هذا ألف سايكل so this is another way to say it so we should check 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 our answer is correct every second we have 1000 cycles our periods. Every cycle, we have eight samples. Okay. So, um, so in one second, come high on this sample. Every cycle, عندي ثمانية. The second, فيها ألف cycle. So, إذا لازم أضرب عدد samples هذا في the ألف cycles. كل cycle فيها ثمانية samples. The second, فيها ألف cycle. إذا في one second, هيكون عندي ثمانية ألف sample. Okay, correct. Check. Eight eight thousand hertz. I have 8,000 samples per second. So that's true. So eight samples. That's why the diagram here, we have samples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shuf, tabi, ma nhasab hada, lano hada mukarr. Intenta here. Eight samples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tabi, here, kam cycles andi? Wahed. Min here, here, wahed. اثنين ثلاثة أربعة كم عدد السامبلز إذا التوتال حيكون؟ يا كريدة مين؟ 
هلا يا دكتور هلا بك مين معي؟ انا عبد العزيز سام صوتت علي عبد العزيز هلا عبد العزيز يا كم عدد السامبلز توتال؟ ثمانية مع ثمانية مع ثمانية مع ثمانية أربعة في ثمانية اثنين وثلاثين اثنين وثلاثين أنا قاعد أعدكم ما أخذتها كبيريد يعني إذا طولت قلنا هم بيريدز 1 2 3 4 وكل بيريد فيه ثمانية قلنا 8 سامبلز أنا قاعد أعدهم ما أعتذر يس Anyway, so here I have to fill it more than if I go 8,000 hertz, I mean 8,000 samples per second. But I'm going to have 32 samples, I'll add them. I'll get them 32 samples. I mean, in total, how long is this time? It's 32 over 8,000 seconds. It's like 4 milliseconds. It's 4 milliseconds. Yes, 4 milliseconds, because every cycle is 1 millisecond. This is 0.01, it's 1 millisecond. فعندي هنا 1 ملي سكند، اناذر ملي سكند، اناذر ملي سكند، اناذر ملي سكند، 4 ملي سكند. 4 ملي سكند، 32 سامبلز. If you apply the DFT, here is what you get. You will get basically. طبعا هنا شوف ايش سوى. He is basically an X axis حطها كفريكونسي، كهرتز. كهرتز. It goes to 0.5 is sampling rate. How much sampling rate? 8,000. Then 0.5 times 8,000, it's like 4,000 hertz. But it is periodic. It repeats. Given that sinusoid, everything is zero. All the frequencies are zero, except the frequency one. Where? Half. Because it is the actual sinusoid. The frequency of it. How much? ألف فحيطلع عندها هنا نون زيرو كومبوننت في الفريكونسي الدومين في مكان ال 1000 هرتز بالضبط لأنه فيها هي اتس 1000 اتس 1000 هرتز هي الساينزويد نفسها ما فيها إلا فريكونسي واحدة فهمنا المنطقة هذه حقتها كل ساينزويد دائما يعطيك امبلس واحدة لأنه فيها فريكونسي واحدة. وعدد السامبلز هنا صحيح هنا الأكس أكسس حطيناها كهرتز لكن حقيقة عدد السامبلز إكزاكتلي ذا سيم يعني يعني زيرو هذه هنا زيرو 1 2 3 هنا في في نقاط ناقصه لكن فيها 32 بالضبط. اوكي واحد اثنين ثلاثه نفس الارقام هذه اربعه خمسه وهكذا اخر نقطه هتكون هنا واحد ثلاثين هذه ثلاثين وهكذا سو so, عدد النقاط نفسهم 32 هنا 32 كل بيريد هنا عندك since all the whole cycle is one millisecond وعندك ثمانية نقاط يعني البيريد هي one millisecond على ثمانية so one over eight milliseconds period um, هنا برضو عندك period اللي هو in hertz if we do, if we do it in hertz أربع آلاف أربع آلاف على اثنين وثلاثين أو sampling frequency f of s over two مرة هذه ما هي واضحة Divide over two. Divided by the number of points. And so, how do we? 
frequency uh, delta frequency or kind of frequency step frequency step or frequency uh, delta we're uh, going to period time period is the time in time but this is the frequency step and it may be called sample of the frequency to the next sample this is the step in hertz okay i think um, my time is up i just this is the I just want to summarize. Yeah, so there is four types of Fourier transforms. We talked about them. So there's the Fourier transform, Fourier series, discrete time Fourier transform, and a discrete Fourier transform. But who was subject of this class, of this uh, and this course actually? The DFT, as we said, assumes a known that basically you're gonna take endpoints. So assumes that the signal is periodic. يعني نرمي كل السيجنالز كل السامبلز حق السيجنال الاولين وخلاص وي جست فوكس اون ذيس بارت اللي هم الان بوينتس ذات وي سامبلز وي ار اسيومينج انه اتس ريبيتد ذيس ان بوينتس ار ريبيتد فور ايفر فبالطبع معناته ايش معناته؟ معناته انه وين يو دوينج ذيس سامبلينج يور لوزينج انفورميشن ان ذيس اوريجينال سيجنال بس ذيس از وات وي كان دو وي كانوت دو ات انفينيت لازم نحدد يعني التايم نمبر عدد ونخليها ديسكريت ونخليها ايضا فاينايت ان تايم يعني مهما اي سيجنال حتى الصوت أو, او لو ناخذ موسيقى مثلا في بدايه ونهايه للاغنيه ما ما, ما نقدر نخلي بيس اوف ميوزك مثلا فور ايفر اتس امبوسيبل فبيسكلي وات وي دوينج از وي تيكينج اونلي ا سناب شوت فروم ا سيرتن تايم تو ا سيرتن تايم و اولسو وي تيكينج ديسكريت سامبلز اند وي اسيومينج انه هذا ذي ريبيتينج فور ايفر تو ابلاي الثيوري حق الفوري ترانسفورم Okay, so next time, so this is repeating the same thing. It's just saying, this is, these are the formulas. It's just saying basically that, uh, again, when you compute the uh, coefficients, when you apply the Fourier transform, and you apply the, and you compute the coefficients in the frequency domain, these are basically the amplitudes. These are the amplitudes in the frequency domain. استخدام الاكويجن حق الفوري ترانسفورم and uh, we can do an example but we'll keep it for next time how to compute basically we're going to do it manually and استخدم a very simple example with four points and we're going to compute manually the fourier transform coefficients حقها using a sinusoid so the very simple uh, example with a sinusoid and uh, with few points four points uh, and that we can do manually عشان نشوف بالضبط كيف تتحسب الدي اف تي نتعلمها وطبعا هذه النوع من الاسئله اللي تجي ايضا ممكن تجي في اكزام لانه تقدر الواحد يقدر يجاوب عليها في few minutes so this is very important to focus on this example okay any questions